Welcome back to Our Vision Farm. I thought I'd do a garden update for April 2022 and show you guys everything that is growing in our gardens. We have a bunch of things. We're probably going to harvest tomorrow, so I wanted to go ahead and just do a little video of everything we are growing so you can see what grows here in Florida in April in the middle of springtime the weather has been really nice lately these are black eyed pea plants they are just now starting to bud their first flowers so not quite up to production yet but black eyed peas go really good in florida i had these rosemaries that we transplanted into these huge pots and they have really blown up ever since we moved them in here so they definitely like the space this is our oregano plant. It's doing really good too. It's taking over. This is one of our oldest herb plants that we've had on our farm. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and we harvest and harvest and it just never stops growing. So over here, um, back here we have some more black eyed peas. So these are a little bit closer to production. You can see the little yellow flowers in it. So soon we'll be harvesting black eyed peas. Black eyed peas you can eat while they're still green or you can let them dry in the pod and save them as a dry bean like you would find at the store. Lots and lots of yellow squash. We're definitely going to be harvesting these tomorrow. We've got lots of nice size yellow squash on these plants. Some are still too small to harvest but there's quite a bit ready. You can see some in there and over here and some of them are just now starting to flower so that is our little yellow squash garden right there let's see back here so we have a lot of berries they are not quite ripe yet when they're red like this they're not ripe they turn black almost like a blackberry and I have shared this in another video I already forgot the name again, but they're not blackberries. This is a wild plant that grows here and it just shoots out from the ground. It's very thorn, like the stems have a lot of little thorns, but and it's very invasive as well. You can see it growing everywhere, but it does provide little berries that are just like blackberries. So I am keeping them on our garden. We have radishes ready to harvest here. Um, more black eyed peas. Here's some more of those berries. So once that turns darker, kind of like that one, that one would still be a little sour. Uh, dewberries, I just remembered. They're called dewberries. So when that turns completely like a black color, that is when they are ripe enough to pick. So we have those all over here and all the way back there where we have our little food forest as well so that is it for this garden let's head back to the other two before we head to the other gardens wanted to show you my son's little greenhouse some of the stuff did not really make it in here we still have the beets that he originally planted and very few carrots are still left in here this is probably ready to harvest but a lot of the things, it just got so overgrown with weeds that when we were weeding, we probably pulled up a lot of the carrots. But after that, we sprinkled in some tomato seeds. Like literally just sprinkled them in, dusted off the ground, and have been watering them. And he has some nice little tomatoes here. I don't remember which kind they were, but we have to put these on support soon and stake them up. Hopefully we'll be able to harvest some tomatoes definitely some beets they're probably gonna be small beets but that's okay at least it's a little something that he's been growing so now let's head over here to where our blueberry bushes and our flower garden we do have some veggies growing back here that I'd like to show you guys so let's head back over there not sure if you can see that clearly, but our mama, Silky's, hatched out some little babies. You can see their little heads poking out. She's being very overprotective and we haven't been able to really see them, but there is two in there so far. Not sure if she has any, 
She has to have eggs under her, but not sure if those are gonna hatch too. So wanted to give you a little update on those. But I'll definitely do another, like a full animal update. I gotta also show you the progress on our little lamb that was born, Coco. Coco is doing awesome. It's just the bouncy little happiest lamb that I have ever seen. And Chloe, the mom, is doing great. So we have the yard long beans growing along this trellis. Still not really trellising up, but they've grown quite a bit since we planted them here. We transplanted them. My husband's onions that he planted in these two pots are doing good. I planted rainbow carrots, but I don't think I watered them enough in the beginning. So you can see in this pot we only have two little carrots and nothing in that one. So we're going to have to replant some other seeds in there. Our little blueberry bushes up here also doing good. Not very many blueberries, but these are young trees. So we weren't expecting much from them. I harvested a couple from them so far. Our flower garden is doing really nice. Lots of different assorted flowers. I think these are the most beautiful ones. I don't know the name of them, but they look so delicate. Like, almost looks like tissue paper. How thin. If you know the names of these, let me know because I'd definitely like to plant some more. I thought there was some type of poppy, but these are not poppies. The like the leaves and everything don't look like poppies. So got some borage. This is an edible flower. Definitely good for the bees and the butterflies. Uh, over here, I'm excited for these to grow. These are hollyhocks. Hollyhocks are a very beautiful flower too. It gets very, very tall, so I'm excited for those. And these larkspurs have been doing great. We have all kinds of colors. We have the pink ones, light purple, dark purple, but they've been doing great. I'm excited about those. I've been putting them in our little flower arrangements. Banana tree. I don't know the names of these, but these are really cool looking flowers. They come in blue, purple, and white. We mostly have these bluish ones and the white ones. Got some nasturtiums here and just some more flower mixes. Our zinnias have started flowering. I couldn't wait until we got zinnias again. These right here aren't flowering yet, but I'll show you the ones that are. Because when it got really cold, like right in the beginning of spring, all of our zinnias had died right before flowering. So, but they bounced back really quick. They didn't really bounce back, but we had new ones grow really quick. Blueberries, still not ripe, but full of blueberries, you can see. So here's some little zinnias. Mother's Day is coming up soon, so we're definitely going to have flowers. And this one is probably getting ready to get pulled out. This was spinach. So we've harvested some of that, but you can see it's getting eaten by bugs. And it's kind of looking a little wilty, so that's almost ready to pull out. I really have to thin these out. These are papayas and our elephant ears. Those are looking great. Sugar cane, all of those are looking great. All right, let's head back here. Still have the snow peas. And we have Lots of squash plants over here. I'm not sure if these are zucchinis or yellow, but those aren't ready yet. We do have some that are ready in here, or not ready, but growing. They'll be ready in no time. 
all these little bursts of color are orange poppies and zinnias. We have some type of peppers here. Not really sure what we planted, but it has little itty bitty flowers on them. So we'll be able to see what they are very soon. Look at that yellow squash right there. That's definitely ready for tomorrow. And I see another one dangling down there that's ready. More radishes. You can see we missed some over here. Look how big those are. And yellow squash. We're gonna have yellow squash all week for dinner this week. I remember last year around this time because we have the blueberry festival coming up this weekend. Around this time last year I also had a lot of yellow squash and I brought a bunch to that festival and sold them all. So I'm probably going to be doing that again this year because we definitely have too many for us to eat. I think these were hollyhocks again. And then these are more black eyed peas I planted. Some carrots. These are collards, I believe. I've been picking here and there off of it. This is a row of carrots too. Flowers everywhere. Very excited about this garden. Look at that one. That one's ready too. All right, let's head to the back garden. Show you guys what's growing over there. Blueberries should be ripening very soon. They're starting to get a little purple hint. We do have some progress on our little potted garden over here. We planted, we broke down these little dollar store towers we didn't like how they were working as towers so we just pulled them apart and planted like one zucchini seed or one yellow squash seed right in the middle and then other ones we just planted some radishes just sprinkled in so that is what we got going on in those and we still have some lettuces these are probably too bitter to eat at this point but we just let them maybe they'll go to seed and we could replant the seeds later some garlic. My husband planted garlic in pots. We have some carrots in here. I think this was carrots. No, these are dill. We planted some dill. Still got our cilantro and parsley. It's doing really good. You can see in these big pots we just planted like two zucchinis. So these are the green zucchinis. Some more pepper plants. And these are all peppers over there. We lost track of what these were, so we're not sure. It's a mix of spicy and sweet peppers. And then here we transplanted some of the papaya trees. But as you saw in our other garden, we have a lot to still thin out and transplant. So let me get around and get into this big garden. Hey Aspen. How you doing girl? All right. Let's get back here. We've been so busy doing work for these events and farmers markets and things that we've been selling at. I feel like I have not been outside for so long and everything's getting overgrown with weeds, but the plants are also thriving through it all so that is awesome we have tomatoes we did stake these up and I'm glad we did when we did because we've had some windy weather so just trying to keep them under control by removing the suckers but we have two rows of tomatoes I'm not sure what kind of tomatoes but those will be producing very soon they're very healthy looking tomatoes my husband had planted some more long yard beans against this fence, so hopefully they'll climb up the fence. We have some onions. These onions we planted so long ago, 
and I feel like this is the year we might actually harvest. I feel like these are two year old onions already but the bulbs just didn't seem to be getting bigger for a while but now they're looking nice and healthy. And then we got zucchinis finally. The front yard is for yellow squash, the backyard is for zucchinis. I guess that's just how we planted it. We have um, zinnias also. We did not plant those here. They just reseeded themselves from last year. Carrot, that carrot is really big. Probably gonna have to harvest that. Still have a nice big row of collards and our what they call dinosaur kale or Italian kale. That is all of these. Those are really good, cooked or raw. Our sunflowers, I am patiently waiting for them to bloom. We have little itty bitty sunflowers planted here. But these are the bigger ones. And they have not fully formed a head yet, so... I'm hoping that by May we might have a little something. You can see the little tiny heads. I do have an order for some flower bouquets for a teacher appreciation week. So crossing my fingers that our sunflowers bloom by then so I could include at least one or two sunflowers in those bouquets. I think that would be nice. This is just cilantro that went to flower and I didn't harvest it in time so it's flowering and it'll reseed them itself. Another tomato. These must be the little itty bitty tomatoes like cherry tomatoes, maybe Everglade tomato. Not really sure what this is. Maybe some type of broccoli. We just eat the greens just like any type of collard green so That is it for this garden. Not too much. We definitely have to fill this one in. We planted eggplants too. But they're just kind of scattered everywhere. Mostly just waiting for these sunflowers to do something. Our buddy boy back there is going on his go away trip tomorrow. It's supposed to be Monday. His slaughter day is Monday. but. The person who's going to be transporting him to the place says that she usually brings him a day before and drops him off in his like little penned area that they have for the cows on wait. So that is what we're going to do even though it's Easter Sunday. She said um, she'll definitely come over and load him up and she'll take him there. And that way he has a little bit of time to relax and not be so stressed out straight from hauling him and he's never been in a trailer before or anything so that's why she says she likes to do that so that their meat is not so tough from being so stressed out so he'll be able to spend the night at their farm and they give them feed and water and he has a little bit of time to just relax and get used to his surroundings and then when it comes time for the processing he won't be as agitated as tense so I'm going to miss him, I'm going to miss having cows, but also going to enjoy the break. We're going to use up all these T-posts and the panels for other projects, and I'm afraid to go back there with him. So I'm excited to, when he's gone, to be able to head to the back of our property again, see what we got going on there, what has grown back, and like the some of the things I have up there in pots is going to be planted back there like the edible elephant ears. I plan on planting the sugar cane back there. Maybe some type of um, like the vining ones, chayote, maybe some type of pumpkin like butternut squash. Anything that I think will be nice to take over back there because I want to turn that into a little food forest too. So once the cow is kind of out the way and we're able to open this back up, I'll be able to head back there some more and see what our land is looking like back there. So our little Chloe and Coco, they are doing great. Yeah. You guys are so loud. Coco is a tall, long-legged lamb. She's full of energy. 
she's been sneaking out of the pen and then she squeezes back in she's so cute everybody is doing good back here one thing I want to do after we get through this busy week and weekend I want to put cookie in with the ram so that she can get bread because she did not get bread last time so that way we can expect lambs from her in about five Hi Coco! Super healthy. She's gaining weight and getting super tall. What do you want, Snow White? So I just wanted to show you her. And that's our daddy over there. And that is it for our garden updates. Just wanted to show you what is growing, what is ready to harvest around this time in Florida. And we'll definitely be harvesting for the week. We definitely have lots of yellow squash and greens to enjoy this week. So we don't have to buy those at the store. And that's pretty much it. Soon we'll have our own beef in the freezer. We have our own pork in the freezer right now. Soon it'll be chicken butchering time. So whatever we don't sell to customers from that, we'll be able to have in our freezer as well. So raising your own food definitely is hard work but it's very rewarding at the end having your fridge filled with your own homegrown foods and a freezer filled with homegrown meats as well it is why we do this and why we chose this type of lifestyle so i hope you guys enjoyed our garden update and inspires you to grow something at your own house no matter how small or big it is you can get started on your little garden and just start with anything flowers herbs veggies maybe plant a fruit tree whatever it is just start small and just go from there eventually it will grow into something big and beautiful and you will just be inspired to do more and more hope you guys enjoyed this update i'll see you guys in the next video